guys what's up so i am going to do like a little get ready with me like my everyday makeup routine slash like chit chat like so i'm just now trying to start get really started on this whole youtube thing i keep trying to get it started and then i just stop i don't know what the deal is but i know that from every video i've watched and everything like that like the key is like consistency 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 and i've not really been doing that so i'm gonna try now i don't really have any excuses um since i'm in the position right now to where i'm taking the summer off with the kids um and i'm gonna be starting beauty school in september so they go back to school the second of august so i'm feeling like if i kind of get started with it now and kind of make it a routine that whenever they go to school i have you know all day until they come home to kind of you know work on my videos edit it and you know all that good stuff so i am going to do that um my backdrop is that you know all fancy whatnot but i wasn't kind of sure exactly where i was going to be setting my phone you know all this stuff's new so <laughs> i will work on that so just you know focus on me but yes so we are going to get ready um so i haven't really been filling in my eyebrows um i haven't been using foundation or like concealer either because well for one i don't have any that matches my color right now since i'm more tan since it's the summer and i was going tanning there for a while and i've not been filling my eyebrows in either because it's summertime i don't really like all of a whole face like all day every you know except for if there's like a special occasion or something like that but i do usually like brush up with you know one of those kind of do a little brush up there make sure i don't have any that like need like plucked you know and then i will go in with my Why did I just totally forget what this is called? The shiny, the glow. Milani. It is Day Glow Strobe Light. So I will go in and like hit usually underneath my eyebrow right there go in on that one eye and then that one and I usually kind of bring it down a little bit because I'm going to put eyeshadow on too and I kind of want it to blend all together and then I will put it in the corner of my eyes highlighter highlighter how i totally forgot that word i don't know my blonde must be coming through i really um girl i'm telling you it's been a day and it really hasn't been a day it's just that there's so much going on um we're kind of looking to potentially move here soon um, it, like it, there's been a lot going on with my daughter's dad, um, and it out of jail, bunch of stuff. Looks like my cat came in. Um, I'm not going to get into it all because, you know, there's still stuff in court, still stuff going on and it's not all my story to tell. Um, so I'm not going to get into everything. So for my eyeshadow, I use my Jaclyn Hill palette and don't judge me cause it's dirty. Um, I've got both of them. I've got volume one and volume two, but I usually, I've been using the volume one for, ew, that is so dirty for like my everyday. And I go in first, I'll go in to this shade, which is called Mocha. And I put it in like my crease area. So I'll put it like. right in there and then in there 
I kind of make sure, you know, it's dark. I've got that collar. See? Put a little bit more on my left eye. I feel like I need a little more on my right. And then I left it because. And then this color, I usually kind of bring on the corner too. So then I'll go in. I was just using one of those. I'm going to go in with like a flat. And dip into that same color. And put it on my outside corner. Just like that. And I might even go into a different shade and put a little bit. I'm gonna go into this one. It's called Central Park. I can hardly see it because it's so dirty. Come on. Come on, Taylor. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my corners of my eyes also. So just like that. And now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take this brush and I'm going to um, blend. Blend, 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 blend. And I'm gonna just blend in my crease right there. Kind of marry it all together. I know you can't really see by the mirrors in front of my face. I'll get it together y'all, I promise. I promise. I'm learning, but yes, small circles, get that blended, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, because that's really kind of the key, you know, with the eyeshadow and making sure everything's all blended and all like blended together and especially depending on what kind of colors you use because you want to make sure it all blends and it all like flows together because then it'll look like a hot mess if it doesn't so we'll make sure yeah. okay so now i'm gonna go in with the tapered crease one of these and i'm gonna go into um what's it called MFEO is what it's called. It's this one right there. I'm going to kind of use that like to kind of blend together like my highlighter and the color that I blended out of my crease. And I'm just going to dip into it just a little bit. Make sure you tap everything off and I'm going to use that to kind of build a little bit to help with that gradient and that blending. Just like that. Dip back in. I have learned though, like with me, the more and more I keep messing with it to try and get it perfect, the more and more I'm gonna mess it up. Sorry I keep looking at myself. I'm also, <laughs> I'm recording it on my phone. Like I said, you guys are just gonna have to bear with me because I'm getting used to it, okay? Um, so now I'm gonna put my color on the inner corner of my eye and I use, so if you all see like one like this with the rubber on the end at first, to be quite honest, I didn't know what it was for, but it's for like, it's called a glam topper. It's for like glitters, shimmers, stuff like that. So I used it with this color too. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but it works for me. It's, um, called Queen. It's all in the same palette, that gold color right there. And I put that on the inner corner, not the inner corner, cause that's where I put my highlighter, but like right there, still kind of the inner corner. So I'll just kind of pick some of that up. 
see it like picks it all up right there and then I just kind of place it where I want it to go see right there just like that and so then I'll pick up some more and I'll go in on my other eye just like that just like that and I think really for the most part They went on pretty even. Like I don't have a whole lot that I want to clean up. I usually will put a little bit more like in here in the middle. Try and like blend it. I'm tell you about that blending part. So I'm going to go back in with this brush. And I'm going to kind of go back over that middle part with it. Blend that. If you hear my kids, I'm sorry. They're on summer break. So, you know, they're just chilling. I made um like an iced mocha coffee, and my daughter is in love with like mocha frappuccinos. So I made a little bit for her, and the boys are she's probably too young for coffee, but the boys are even younger. So I made them like an iced hot chocolate. So they're all over the place. So now, okay, I didn't get my brushes out. Okay, so for my liner, I haven't really been like doing any like liner pencil or anything like liquid liner. I know that this is for eyebrows. I got it with uh, some eyebrow stuff I got. I have been using this side for my top liner. I've just kind of been getting it wet and dipping it into. Yes, I know this isn't sanitary. Don't judge me. Um, dipping it into the black here in this palette. There's too much stuff in front of it. I can't tell you what the name is, but it's the black shade. And then I will kind of just go and draw on my wing and kind of go from there. So I'm going to try and show you the best I can, way I can without putting like the mirror right in front of my face. So I'll just kind of go and do the... Dart the wing like that. And then I will connect it. And then I'll kind of go like that. And then I'll kind of go in between the two to create that like sharp corner. So then I'll just go in and kind of fill it, fill it in, fill that black in. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. So give me just a second. The mirror's probably going to be in front of my face for a minute. So start the line. Break it up like that. Connect. Bring it over. Go between the two. Do my little line again. Make that crisp, pointy corner. 
of a winged eyeliner that we all love so much. And now I fill it in. Just like that. And now I have to judge and make sure they're even and then this part drives me crazy and I keep, I have to tell myself that they're supposed to be sisters, not twins. I know that your eyebrows, but I tell myself with my wings too, because I'll just keep messing with them and keep messing with them and keep messing with them. And then I done messed them up. So they're not quite even. So let me, this one I feel as though needs a little. I mean, they really are okay for the most part. I feel like that's just me. See? I told y'all. I, I feel like I want it to be perfect and then... But the thing is, is it's not ever gonna be perfect, Taylor. Maybe I need to make my wing. Uh, Hold on, one more spot, and then I promise. There we go. There we go. Okay. So my wings. And now I've got to connect it all so I'll go in the corner and start the line on that eye <laughs> and start it on that eye and then just kind of work to the middle to connect the two. The best I can with that brush. See, that one's connected. Go me, go me. to like I know I'm not like a professional at you know makeup and stuff like that but like I want I feel like everybody should do stuff that makes them feel good that's what like I you know I had haven't been sleeping the best you know there's been a lot going on like I still want to get ready I still want to do all that because I'm just such a firm believer I feel like if you feel if you feel like you look good then you just feel good it makes you do better like it makes you it just gives you an extra boost of like that confidence and like let's not lie we could all use a little serotonin boost especially us like ex addicts like we that yeah that's kind of something we thrive on and that's something like the whole instant gratification, like doing your makeup, it makes me feel good. And it gives me a little bit of instant gratification because it doesn't take, you know what I mean? It doesn't take that long. That's my whole social media and everything. Like I want everything to be centered around like self-care like taking care of yourself like family like healthy relationships like I feel like I've wasted so much of my life like accepting stuff that I didn't deserve and stuff that I wasn't happy with because I'm so non-confrontational like I don't like sticking up for myself I've never been very good at it but now I'm at a place in my life to where I know my worth and I know what I deserve Wednesday uh, it's July 12th will be my two years clean um and just within those two years, like 
everything I feel like I have accomplished, like where I am in life is, it's just crazy to me that it's only been at this point, not even two years. Like if you believe in yourself and you do what's right and you just keep pushing, like you will get there. Even if it's not totally on the plan that you want it to be. Like uh, one thing I have learned in this past year, I've never been a religious person and I still wouldn't say that like, I'm one set religion like over another. I feel like I believe in different stuff from different religions. Um, but I do think there is a God and I do think that everything happens for a reason. If something did not work out exactly the way you wanted, then it wasn't supposed to work out that way. And I have been trying to kind of gain confidence in that, like it'll work out. It just may not be exactly how you planned or on your time frame. And there's a reason for that. There's got, I, I feel like there has to be a reason for that and look in the positive. Cause if you just dwell on the negative aspect of it, then you're just going to eat yourself up. So a lot of stuff to do, it is like your frame of mind. And I just really feel that like taking care of yourself, like making sure that you feel good. Like, I feel like that just makes everything else a little bit easier. Cause then you have that confidence that like, like I said, that extra boost. to push it forward a little bit. So I went in with this little brush. I actually think this is an eyebrow brush too. And kind of dipped it into that black and kind of just went over it again to blend. Um, so that's, that's the top part. And then I kind of go under here. Cause like I said, I haven't been using like any foundation face powders to set. Since I'm not using foundation, I don't got to set it. So I just, make sure I don't have any fallout kind of brush it off and then sometimes I'll use black in my waterline underneath but I'll usually go in here lately I've been using like blue and I'll go underneath it and I'll do that just like that go and do it to the other side it's about as even as it's gonna get I've never done the white in my eyes like if it looks good on you great I feel like it makes me look like I have alien eyes um, but this is the Revlon color stay eyeliner um, and the color is sapphire I feel like it brings out my the blue in my eyes and it makes them kind of pop a little more um but then i will go back with my eyeshadow brush and i'll go back into that first color i used the mocha and i will put it on my bottom lash line and kind of smoke it out a little just like that just like that so that's my eyes well except for my mascara but I do it last so now I'm gonna go back into my Milani highlighter <laughs> now that I remembered what it's called and hit you know my upper cheekbones and do that I usually do this before I go in with my bronzer because I went again with the damn blending so highlight you see that shine boom Y'all, I can't even explain to y'all how excited I am to go to beauty school. I have a whole salon name picked out. I have everything. Um, to be quite honest, I don't want to say it because I don't want it to get stole. If I'm being quite honest. So, I'll let you guys know at some point. I promise. Um, but I want to do hair. I want to do makeup. I want to, at some point, I'm going to go get certified and figure out how to do the lashes. Because I would like to also offer those services too. Um, right now I'm going to go on physician, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's in matte. I'm not a shimmery kind of bronzer person. Um, I love this. It smells like summertime. It's 
my favorite. So I'll go with that and I'll do some contouring. My cheekbones, blend circles. See, and then I'll go on this side and do the same thing. I'll push my little headband back a little bit. And then I go and frame my face. Cause you know, a lot of the areas you're supposed to do contour like in the lower parts of your face. But I use it to frame it out too. Do that. Kind of drag it down my neck. Put it on my ears. And then I usually go back in my cheeks one more time. Just to make sure that that's all done. Blend it out. And then whatever is left, honestly, I'll go under my eyes. I gotta do my nose. I don't do a full carve out though. Pew. Just like that. Pew. Okay. Yeah, but. Just like that. And then now I will go in with my mascara. I use the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline New York. It's my favorite. So I'll go in with it. We usually do top lash, top lash, bottom lash, bottom lash. And then I'll do, after I do my bottom lashes, I'll do my top lashes again. Bottom's done, so now I'm gonna go through and do my top again. And also, just a little tip. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I didn't. If you do get like, you know how sometimes you'll do your mascara and then like you open your eyes and it'll dry and you'll get it up on the top. Um, if you let it dry, it's easier to pick out. Now I have makeup done. That's my everyday, my everyday routine. Doesn't take me very long, about 20 minutes or so. Now I'm gonna do my hair, I get dressed for the day, all that good stuff. We had a little visitor back here. He thinks he's so funny. Um, but yes, that's my everyday makeup routine that nobody asked for, but you know, here we are. <laughs> Um, but if there's like any other videos that you guys want to see from me or anything like that, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. Um, I'm working on a weekly vlog right now and I'm working on really trying to get my social media up and running. So if there's any suggestions, any input, any videos y'all would like to see, anything like that, please let me know. Um... My social media handle on everything is Slay with Tay. So S L A Y Y period W I T period T A Y Y. So go follow me on everything. I'm on Facebook. I'm on TikTok. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Instagram. I will put all of like my social medias. I'll make sure they're on my YouTube channel so you guys can find them. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day and stay blessed. <laughs>